The Duke's latest claim follows the release his tell-all memoir, Spare, in January, which has strained relations between the Sussexes and the royal family. Harry and a number of other high-profile celebrities are pursuing a case against the Daily Mail publisher Associated Newspapers over allegations of phone hacking and other invasions of privacy. The institution was without a doubt withholding information from me for a long time, this statement added. And while the hearing was for a lawsuit against Associated Newspapers, expert Danielle Alzer said that Harry will keep taking shots at the monarchy. What has become clear this week is that Harry's tell-all spare wasn't his final, parting shot in his fight against the palace, she said. Instead, the Duke is only going to continue waging his one-man war. Writing in the New Zealand Herald, Elzer noted Harry's claim that the royals hid phone hacking from him, as well as how he is the first royal to appear in court since Princess Anne in 2002. She then wrote, Every time I think Harry must have said everything he could possibly say, allege, and sling over arm at the palace, that he must surely be done with it, he pops up like an aggrieved whack-a-mole with a troop of high-priced lawyers, who must now basically be living in his pool house, to have another go. For King Charles, Queen Camilla and William and Kate, the Prince and Princess of Wales, who are busy trying to iron their coronation robes and work out if wearing ermine might earn the wrath of Twitter, that is rotten news. Yes, outwardly the king and the palace have remained resolutely stum in the face of Harry and his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex's various multi-platform offensives but his displeasure is pretty blatant. Dot Prince Harry not as brave as he seems as he will have feared meeting with irate king. Prince Harry has made a surprise return to Britain this week to attend in person a four-day preliminary hearing at the High Court. During his time in the UK, he is not believed to have had the chance to meet his father King Charles. The Duke of Sussex is not as brave as he makes out he is, a royal author has claimed. Prince Harry's return to the UK would have coincided with the beginning of King Charles and Queen Camilla's tour to France, had it not been cancelled due to the ongoing protests across the country against a proposed pension reform. King Charles saw his diary cleared out of the first leg of his tour, which is instead beginning today with Her Majesty's arrival in Germany, something which left royal watchers to wonder whether the monarch would have time to meet his second son in person. But Charles is not an ordinary father. He is king and as such has appointments every 20 minutes of his day. In between, he has letters to sign, state documents to read and meetings to attend. When the state visit to France was cancelled his diary was immediately filled with urgent pending issues. Dot the commentator added being king isn't a part-time post, before claiming it is unlikely the head of state wants a confrontation with his second son after he attacked the firm and its members in his memoir, Spare.